What's up everybody, this is Magic Mitch here with FoodChallenges.com bringing you guys another Food Challenge video and for this video I am at Spokes Pub and Grill in Farmington, Missouri taking on their Crown Burger Challenge. Now for this challenge I had 45 minutes to complete this towering burger which consisted of a 1 pound layer of beef, 1 pound layer of bison, and a 1 pound layer of elk burger and it also had a very buttery layered bun in between each of those and also for this challenge, the onion rings were required, but none of the garnishments that you see on the uh, bottom of the plate itself, those were just there for presentation, not required. I had uh, 45 minutes to do this challenge. If I was successful, I would get the $35 meal for free, a free shirt, and I would get my picture up on the wall of fame. My strategy going into this food challenge was pretty straightforward. I was gonna take each of the patties down one by one, then go after the bread and then whenever I felt like it just do the onion rings because I didn't think that would be you know, much of a big deal. During the first part of this challenge I felt really good about my chances of winning this challenge especially my chances about even beating the 22 minute record set by Ramsey the man this Hilton. I was going through the burger patties pretty fast and I thought I had a really good pace. Each of these burger patties were quite delicious. The only thing I remember was that the, the uh, elk burger patty was a little bit harder to get down but nothing terrible and as you can see after finishing all the meat I decided to eat the onion rings before moving on to all of the bread now once I started getting to the bread it was a total game changer for me during this challenge it threw me off big time uh, it was the bread was something I really never had before it was really doughy and it reminded me of like uh, under baked or undercooked cornbread and it was a little too uh, greasy and uh, sweet for me at that time and once I started getting to about like the second or third piece of bread it really I hit the wall pretty hard. Even though I struggled with this challenge I used the experience to learn a lot about myself and the training strategies and how I prep for my food challenges. Also, since this challenge, I decided to use a shirt that's one size larger than what I normally wear for challenges, and that is because I find the uh, I find it a bit distracting when I can feel my shirt tightening up against my stomach from expanding so much, and really it's just an unnecessary distraction that I don't need during the challenge. For my overall review of this challenge, I give it about 4.5 out of 5. As far as the structure goes, 45 minutes is definitely fair enough for a challenge of this size, and I think it might actually be 60 minutes since I attempted it. Though I do think the bread will be a little bit more difficult and unexpected for most. And always, a free meal is always a staple for any food challenge in my opinion. The free shirt and wall of fame are also an added bonus. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a little magic of your own with a like and share. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel for the latest food challenge videos. And I definitely have more videos lined up for you guys to watch and I'm very excited about showing you guys those. And I didn't want to give anything away in the beginning, but this challenge ended up with a less than ideal outcome. The When the 45 minutes expired, I was unable to complete the entire burger challenge. I had the top bun left. And this was a pretty heartbreaking loss for me, but I definitely look forward to the rematch. And before this video wraps up, I would just like to thank Spokes Pub and Grill for the delicious challenge. I definitely look forward to the rematch. And thank you to Randy Santel for doing a fantastic job filming. And thank you guys for watching.